Hello, welcome to another video. Today we're going to take a nice quick look at the latest Manjaro Linux spin in collaboration with Nitrix featuring the NX desktop. So we've seen Nitrix on the channel before, but this is now sort of built on top of Manjaro. So it's um, you've got an unstable minimal ISO here that's available to download. Um, it is unstable though, so I'd probably suggest using it in a VM. I've got it running on bare metal here, so let's just see how we get on. So you've got a latte dock at the bottom and a panel at the top with your app indicators and stuff like that at the right. And then you've got an application launcher here that you can also search. So the applications that it comes installed with is the, as I say, the add and remove thing for Arch. We've enabled the AUR or repository. Let's keep going. So in App Images, you get App Image CLI tool and App Image Update. Um, you get the SSH server stuff. So there's a few icons missing, but as I say, it's, um, it uses the um, icon theming from Nitrix. Dolphin, which is um, obviously a file manager. GNU Image Embedder, I installed that myself. It didn't come with it. HTOP, I'm not sure if I installed that. I can't remember. K comes with it. All, all your KDE apps come with it. So as I say, Latte, spec Spectacle, sorry, System Settings, Console, Cases Guard, Gwenview Arc, and KCalc. Um, all the KDE Connect stuff, KDE Partitioner, I installed KDN Live myself, KFind Conversation, KSystem Log, K Wallet Manage, uh, Manjaro Application, Manjaro Notification, Manjaro Settings, Manjaro User Guide, um, and then the Maui apps, which also comes over from Nitrix. Um, so here you have a file manager, a text editor, and a music audio player or something, I think. We'll have a look at these individual apps in a moment as we sort of see what else we've got here. Um, OBS, I installed that myself for the video. Ocular, PDF viewers to the um, KD connecting picks. QT app, so it's like Cavantum, uh, Cavantum manager. QT assist, QT design. Uh, VLC, I installed myself. Waterfox classic, which is probably an app image as well. Yep, um, which is your default web browser. I don't think it comes installed with another. Nope. Um, you can always install another if you so wish. Um, VLC Media Player I installed myself and here is vMetal so I can't really show you vMetal because you'd need the, some, just different hardware setup from what I've got but that's sort of like a GPU pass through sort of system all set up for you so you could run like a Windows game on your Nitrix desktop um, I don't think we'll be able to open it or anything though no I don't think it's going to open it but it's cool that it's um, it's made its way over to here and I'm hoping that it gets some work more work done on it and it continues to develop right is that all of the apps that we've had a look at yes right let's have a look at the maui kit apps quickly so as i say you, you're going to have two file managers installed by default because as i say we've got the dolphin dolphin which comes with a kde and then we've got index here let's open index <clears throat> so by default i've changed it to grid but you'll have a list view like so and it's a single click as of yet i don't think the system settings um in hang on workspace behavior really affects it because I've got it on double click here so on Dolphin for example it'll work um, but it's just not doing it for index but I'm sure that'll be addressed or maybe I'm missing a setting or a toggle somewhere but anyway let's have a look at index and we'll um, we'll switch it back to the grid view and then let's, um, let's open up Dolphin while we do it and just sort of compare how they look side by side so I think what do I prefer the look of? So the um, Dolphin's got the transparency working out of the box. Index doesn't seem to. Um, do quite like the way Index looks though. Um, so you get a little sort of pop up here. So if you press plus, so you, I think you could probably would work quite well on a touch screen maybe. So you could just touch that. So if I wanted to copy that and then you go and jump into another folder, bang. You also do tags. So let's tag a fold file. So let's tag this with image and now if I go into my tags image is not there <laughs> okay let's see why oh maybe I didn't add the tag so now let's go to tags add let's go to tags image there you go so everything you've tagged with image will be there that's just the overlay I use for my camera um, face grab so everything yeah that's pretty cool um, I've so it's got um, a manage accounts thing here but I don't think much really happens when you do it I'm sure it just needs a bit of work on the back end or something. I'm not sure what's going to be done here. Cloud.opendesktop.cc. What's this? <clears throat> ah, okay, cool. Right, let's keep moving. 
so that's index um, and then the other mail we kit apps it comes with as I say is a text editor called Nota oh no are we still recording yes <laughs> okay let's try that again Nota right so here we go um, I'm going to assume that's is that new? That would be new, won't it? Yes. So then your body is here. Write a little thing. Save as. Chuck something there. Save. Oh, doesn't seem to want to save at the moment. Show terminal. Huh. And then you can do it. That's pretty cool. Let's look at that full screen. Nice. Okay, I think this has got some potential. Can't seem to save anything at the moment though. Okay. As I say though, this is an unstable release, so don't expect everything to work as you would hope it to. Nice, let's see how much RAM we've managed to ramp it up to. So we're at two gig. That's not too bad. Let's keep it moving. Does it come with any office apps out of the box? Just Ocular PDF. Right, let's have a look at the music player, the Melwe Kit music player, Vivav. I don't have any audio files on this partition to test it out with but sources so yeah music player so you can sort of add your sources and it will just sort of build a library up for you I'm going to imagine no tracks meh start putting together your playlist so I guess you have a playlist here with your playlist viewer tracks here and then what's that an albums view artist view playlist view that's quite nice looking as well I don't mind that and then you get a little search here as well nice okay let's see if we can configure the desktop I've had ah there we go and um, that's the first time that's actually opened so far um, cool I don't know why it's open perhaps the restart fixed it but um, I was just getting a little transparent box for the first sort of couple of tries of running through so the default desktop is the same as what you'd find on Nitrix and then you'll find sort of you know the KDE stuff and then some more Nitrixy stuff here I quite like this one sort of minimal landscapey sort of feel so yeah um, you get a global menu at the top um, let's have a look at what the default keyboard shortcuts are if they've been set yet let's go to kwin so you've got hmm where's show the desktop grids so I'll show desktop switch to desktop where's show desktop tell you what let's add some virtual desktops um, let's just add two. That'll do it for now. Right, so we've we got. Let's go back into. Let me just type virtual. No. Desktop. Keep window, show desktop. Switch one desktop to the left. Yep, we want these. Right, have this got a show desktop grid or anything like that? No. Okay, not to worry. Let's just apply that. And now let's switch to the next desktop. There we go. Um, you'll have to change the wallpapers on each desktop, it seems. It hasn't saved that one. Okay, not too bad. So it's yeah, it's, it's it's a lot just like Nitrix, but just with the Manjaro stuff. So as I say, all your Pac-Man stuff will work. Like so. Oh, there is some update stuff to get there. What are we getting? We're getting Libn and Network Manager. Hmm. Okay. Right. What I'm going to do is do a reboot, and then I'm going to get a sort of a RAM reading of what it's using at boot. But I won't record that. I'll just get a screenshot of it, and then we'll start recording again, and you just sort of finish up with anything that we've missed out. So I shall be back in just a moment. Okay, and we're back. So I've just um, taken a quick screenshot. Let's just open a screenshot here, and we can see what RAM we was using at boot. Um, it didn't keep both desktops the same wallpaper. That's probably something I didn't set myself though. Oh, where are we? So we're using 745, I don't know if you can quite see that in this image, there we go. So we was using 745, I let it sort of have a few seconds of cool down time before I sort of took the screenshot. But yeah, not too bad, it's pretty good. Um, what I'm going to do now is, I've sort of forgot to show you the sort of whole app image thing. So we're going to download an app image and see how it sort of integrates everything out of the system and if it's got that set up for us. So 
let's pop open Caden uh, Walker Fox and we're going to download Caden Live, the app image. I know we've downloaded it from the store as well. Caden oh, Love. There it is. And we're just going to do a quick download and then we're going to see if just double uh, if we can execute that and then just double click it and see what happens. So let's just scroll down to the latest one. Let's just grab not the B, this one here. Okay, um, I've still got my, I never keep the toolbox on, so let's just go to configure desktop again, go to tweaks, and then we'll remove show the desktop toolbox, and then we'll click apply, um, and then just have a look at a few widgets now. Oh, here we go, now some widgets. Application dashboard, application launcher, comic strip, dictionary, fuzzy clock, global menu, which we're using at the top left. Kate Sessions, Latte Doc. Let's get a memory status up on here. Right, and let's just move that about there. There we go. I don't tend to use a lot of widgets, really. Um, I'm going to get a network one as well. Um, where's Add Widgets gone? There it is. Network Monitor. So let's pop that there as well. And we we'll try and sort of line it up. There we go. Um, and let's just lock the widgets now. So we're using 1.6 gig RAM at the moment. Let's see if that download's finished. Yes, it has. So let's just open this up quickly and we're just going to copy it. Tell you what, let's make it executable first. So we've got open terminal in here. No. All right, let's open up a terminal. Oh, I can't be bothered. Just copy and paste it. cut it to the applications folder oh, it doesn't have one right let's just open it and see what happens execute right so there's the Caden live app image and let's see if we can pin that close it off open it up nice and then is it searchable in here Yes, so there you go, and it's got a different icon in this view than it does there. But there's, t you can see, there's two now, two app, um, two Caden lives. One is the app image, and one's not. So let's open up both and see what they look like side by side. So let's just make sure we know which one's the app image. So the app image is this one here. I do believe. Or is it? Who knows? <laughs> but there we go. So that all works very nicely. Um, so what I'm going to do now is just wrap up the video. I'm just going to check to see that there's definitely nothing that we've missed out. So let's just go up at the top here and just sort of click through. So you've got your audio controls, media player control down at the bottom as well. Have a little clipboard here so you can copy and paste your clipboards. Um, network. Oh, we've missed the update bit update bluetooth and then your notifications as well um, as i say it's an unstable sort of iso so if you want to give it a go i'd suggest doing it in a vm um, but yeah i'm actually looking forward to where this develops I, I really do like the the default look and feel of the nx desktop or nitrix if you will um yeah excited thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video please subscribe and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye